Guys, I just recorded an intro, but the camera wasn't on. Anyway, hi guys. Uh, today, I'm going to show you guys how I painted this really pretty whimsical pastel cloud. And this piece is so freaking easy and it's so beginner friendly. And the best part about doing clouds is that you can do anything. I, I feel like I say that for all my paintings, but it's because I like painting these kind of things um, where basically you can just go crazy with your brushes, your colors and just do whatever you want and the end result will still be something really beautiful. This painting is also done using palette knife, so it gives really interesting textures and these are textures you would typically see in clouds as well, so the overall effect looks really, really pretty. I hope you guys try painting this yourself because the colors are just really pretty and it'll make you happy when you're painting and it'll make you even happy when you put it somewhere um, like on your work desk or just hang it up on a wall. It'll just make you really happy to look at it. So yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, like always, put my base color down and um, the base color here is pretty easy to identify, it's just blue. But just to give it a little bit more dimension, instead of just putting plain flat blue, I'm actually trying to do a slight gradient. So I make the top part a little darker and it becomes lighter as it goes towards the bottom. Next, I'm identifying the three colors in the clouds here, so which is pink, uh, pink, orange and purple mostly. So I'm just applying orange and the pinks right now and I'm diffusing them as I paint. As I apply the colors, I'm also diffusing them using a dry brush because the clouds are really soft. So you want to make sure that the first few layers are really nicely blended in. I'm just going in even, uh, I'm going in with more layers and I'm trying to make it more defined now so i just keep making the layers darker and darker as i proceed but also making sure that i don't over blend um, because i don't want to lose that definition as well now to really go in with the details i'm using a palette knife and the reason i use a palette knife is one because it's quick two because it gives me really nice textures and it looks like from a distance, it really looks like it's clouds. So on my palette knife, I just took some pink and white and I am, I just, I don't even know how to explain. Like I'm just placing the, the colors in a cloudy shape, if that makes sense. And realistically, clouds are not just one big blob. They have a lot of spaces between them. They have a lot of, um, textures they have a lot of white that peeks through like if you ever see pink clouds or orange clouds you would see that there is some white blue that peeks through it so that's what i'm really doing here i'm just taking the palette knife and i'm trying to create a lot of texture here so like for example in the orange cloud i'm trying to put a little bit of blue as well just so it doesn't look like one big blob of orange it looks like there are layers to it um, yeah, and that's pretty much it when it comes to these kind of cloud paintings. Um, these kind of abstract clouds are really fun to paint because there is really no rule to it and clouds can be in, of any shape and sizes so you can really just do whatever you want to do and they will still look like clouds which is amazing. And yeah, so I'm just repeating the process here. I'm just blending and applying, blending and applying. Um, and I'm also using my palette knife to make sure that I'm adding textures as I go. So I'm scraping the palette knife on the canvas and just, you know, trying to give it more texture. You will see the textures more closely towards the end of the video because I take like a close-up footage. But um, yeah, that is, that is pretty much it. And uh, it was really fun to paint actually. Um, and I really liked the overall effect the palette knife gave and I think it's super beginner friendly so yep 
I'm also adding more white into my painting which is not there in my reference photo but the reason I'm doing that is because I really like the look of it and honestly just feel free to add and subtract whatever you want from your reference photos because really you can do anything you want um, and it also just adds a little bit more of your personality into it you know like I like it when paintings are not exact exact like just put yourself into the painting and now for the final touch up I'm just using my finger as well you guys know how much I like using my fingers I'm just going all messy into it um, and yeah that is pretty much it here is the final painting I love it so much it's definitely one of my favorite paintings i've done so far i love how it looks when i set it up somewhere it's just so beautiful to look at and i love the texture so much as you guys know i'm trying to incorporate more textures into my paintings so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys like subscribe and comment and keep a lookout for my next video bye